So I recently got a pretty unusual request to make a program that takes guitar audio and turns it into sheet music. Now my music knowledge is nearly non-existent and this is an easy project. So I started to start from the easier part. Drawing sheet music in C sharp. First off, let's do some research. So I've read a bit about what sheet music is and I have a pretty good understanding about it now. For drawing sheet music I have one real option, the package right here. It's pretty good but um, it's quite easy to do it this way. So let's draw the stuff by ourselves. After some digging I found a nice stack overflow page with some extremely basic code. And here's how I went from this to this. And I've formed a nine step plan to get there. So let's go step by step. So I've pasted my code right here and yeah, nothing changed and here it is. We got some lines and notes, I guess. Yeah, this is a mess and we've got a long way ahead of us. Let's start with removing the awful dots and adding the letters shown each note's line. So I've modified my code a bit and look to now add the label for each line. It will indicate which notes go on the line. Um, I'm not a music expert so I have really no clue on what I'm doing. But I hope it turns out good. And yeah, it's looking good. We've got some lines and the letters before them. So now's a pretty good idea to add some notes here. Now instead of adding dots to indicate the notes, I'm just going to be adding numbers. Now I'll say it again. This is a, a very custom program. And the person which asked me to make it told me to save the notes as numbers. So I'm just going to listen and do just that. If this may seem strange, then I'm sorry. With my poor explaining done, let's add one single note. Or should I say number? I've modified my code to add a number to one of the lines indicating a note. So here you can see this should be the note. Let's now make sure it's on the correct line. So I've gotten a lot of motivation to work on this program. So I added three things. I made sure that the notes go on the correct line. I added some code that checks my note loop and adds all of them. After we hit 50 note notes, we go to a new set of lines, which I also added. And I have a disk join button, which when I press just adds random notes, very nice. But if I resize our form, you may see something like this, that the notes just cut off. So it's time to make this thing resizable. So I have modified my code to now calculate the amount of notes on each line. As you may see here, and if we run this again, you can see everything's nice here. Let me resize the form, and as you may see, everything goes nice to lead to the end. The same here, just ignore these notes here. Oh, yeah, now let's improve the visibility of the numbers on the lines because they do blend in a bit. I have modified my code to add in some white circles behind each note to improve visibility. And as you may see here, we've got our circles and everything does seem to be a lot more clear. And just for showcase purposes, I'm going to change the color of them to green. So you can see here, this is what happens. We just draw them and yeah, this is how it looks. Let's continue improving. 
I've been working on the option to save the sheet music to a PNG file, and here's the code. And I still need to add a file dialog to actually select where to save it. But if we run it, here's how it looks. We can generate some notes, and as you can see, we save them. And this is how it looks. And as you may see, the notes are offset. I fix that pretty easily by adding these two lines of code. So if we run it now, you can see that this is how it looks and it looks just like inside the program. Really nice and this image will resize to the panel size because it uses its width and height for the images width and height. Now I've quickly added that file dialog so here as you can see I can select where to save it. So I've finished my program. And I'm happy with what I have made, looking at the time I spent on coding. Now let's look at the code and I will walk you through step by step about what each line does. Okay, so first of all we use the graphics and then we calculate the max amount of the notes in one line. Then I have a list of note labels that I use when drawing six lines. Then I have my line loop, which draws each and every line. And as you can see, there is a lot of maths inside of there. It's calculating all the offsets so that the lines are perfectly drawn. Then I have a non loop, which loops through each of the nodes in another list where I store all my nodes for the program to use. Then if the node count is equal to the max line node count, then we reset it back to zero and we increase the line count. Then we set the current label, which is the line on which the node should be placed based on a little nice label map. Then I have two if statements for my circles behind the nodes, which are for increased visibility. This was just my trial and error and moving stuff by a pixel until I got a result that looks pretty nice. And then finally I draw the actual note. Then I just increase the note count and this repeats for each note. This is a big chunk of code but yeah it works very nice. So this is the end of the video. I don't know if it's even possible to make a program to detect guitar audio and turn it into sheet music, but I'll try my best. Thanks for watching.